Hello, party people. Um, for today's vlog, I wanted to do something a little different. Uh, I was wondering if you would like to go down memory lane with me. I uh, am at Signal Hill Mall in Statesville, uh, the town I grew up in, and that's actually IHOP right there, which is still open. This mall is almost completely closed down from what I've heard. I haven't been here in years, so I'm pretty excited for this, but the IHOP, uh, that was one of my first jobs. I worked there when I was 16. That was my first serving job. I, that's where I learned how to wait tables, and I was there for a good while, but I didn't keep too many jobs when I was, um, for very long anyway, when I was a teenager, because party. But no, I am excited because I haven't been here in years, as I mentioned, and this, and this is when I was 16, so God, this was uh, all the way back in... 2000 the year 2000 so don't do the math don't do the math I'm only 25 um but no I was I was I, I just took my dad to physical therapy and I uh, have about an hour to kill and I wanted to go do a hike but there are no trails in Statesville there was like four trails none of them look good and most of them would have taken me more than an hour to do anyway so I was just like okay well let's just go wander around the mall because it had just started raining a little bit a little drizzle but I was like screw it let's just go wander around the mall and see if uh, my subscribers would like to see where I used to hang out with but um at but uh, I do remember when we would get out of high school when you know the day would end we would come straight here like a whole bunch of us and we would hang out and you were still allowed to smoke cigarettes inside and you know it's so cool for teenagers back then to smoke cigarettes I think now vaping is kind of the the trend for the youngins but we would go inside and hang around a fountain, which I hope is still there. Probably not functioning, but we would just hang out and smoke cigarettes. And uh, some of the other ones would make out with each other. I wasn't interested in making out with the boys. I wonder why. But, um, yeah, I, I am excited. Let's go, let's go see what uh, Signal Hill Mall has turned into. This was like the only thing that lasted at this whole, oh my God, that's crazy. They never redecorated either. Here, look, look at all that. It smells like straight mold in here too. It smells like a moldy basement. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. I used to go there and get wraps all the time. Nothing's opened. This is like, I feel like I'm not supposed to be in here. This is crazy. Wow. Here, you don't want to look at me. Look at this. See, there's the fountain I was talking about. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm in a back room. Like, I don't think I'm supposed to be here, but the door was wide open. But look at all that mold. We would sit right here and smoke. Well, this looks like it's still open, but I don't see how. Like, look at all this. Merle Norman. Yeah, there's still stuff in here. And I think I just saw a woman. Could have been a ghost, who knows. This is way worse than I expected, but it's also freaking weird, right? Look, oh my God, look at this. You see it? Like from the past. This is crazy. I used to come here with my mom and my friends. Wow. Here, look. Wow. 
Wow. How eerie is that? Like, I guess... Look at all the mold that's in there on the walls with these pianos. How, how is, how do they let it get this bad? I definitely feel like I'm probably not supposed to be in here. Definitely not breathing this in. Look at it. But the fact that they're still playing music is kind of... Well, this is not what I was expecting, for sure. This used to be the pet store, which now in retrospect was probably horrible, but used to go there a lot. And this was like a dollar, I think it was a dollar tree, if I remember correctly. You can see in there. Well, and I think this might have been like, I think this was Sears. Yeah, I think that was Sears. And it was funny because one of my closest friends in high school, her name was Christina. And she worked there for the longest time. And Sears was going out of business for like 20 years. I know it's probably like that for a lot of different cities, but it took them 20 years to finally go out of business. But that's crazy. And also a little back to the dollar store there. I remember I was a little rotten teenager. And I was hanging out with my buddies and I went in there and I wanted to get a job, filled out an application. I came back a few weeks later and was like, hey, I never heard back from you. And the lady was like, I didn't like the way you were dressed. We wouldn't hire someone that was dressed like that. I probably wasn't dressed the best, but also screw her. And obviously I'm over it. So let's see what else we can see. I know we can't get over there. It looks pretty dangerous, but... This is some exploring for sure to say. I love that it's playing smoking in the boys' room. It kind of makes sense. I think the Belks is over there, but they're like closed off. You can't, you gotta go in through the front door. I used, to, I used to come here like for Santa Claus and it's just how is Wooten still open and of course like a little Connect T-Mobile that seems to be open let's check it out right here this was uh, obviously music and DVD and this was my favorite place I used to come here and beg my mom to buy me DVDs and CDs That used to be such a. I don't remember what Learner was. I think it was. I can't remember. I think it's like a discount clothing store. Check this out. Lovely. Um, but yeah, actually, I was really into No Doubt when I was younger, and they had like a big cutout of their Rock Steady album, like a life size cutout of all of them, and they let me have it, and it's still in my dad's garage right now. Just Gwen Stefani and the boys looking all cool in their checkered patterns. Oh my gosh, I used to go shopping here with my mom. And this was a family. Wow. Look at all the mold that's forming on the glass. Santa used to be there. I just remembered my mom, this is when I was still in high school back in the day, and the irony is this is how I know I'm old because the fashion that was in style then or whatever uh, is come back. We used to go here to get my flares and just, I just have all these, like I've been in stores recently and been like, oh my God, I feel like I'm a kid again because the style has come back so hard. Jinkos are making a comeback, I fucking love it. See another explorer there. I don't know what that used to be. Let's 
see the arrow. I always like that. Oh shit. Well, you can't say I broke it. I guess we're not getting out that way. But like, can we agree this is pretty crazy? Gosh, it's like so nostalgic, but also like a little depressing. But you know, things change. It's been literally, what, since I was 16? So like five years ago? So this whole mall is open for that one spot, basically. And I guess Wootland's kind of, but. You can see how they got the table right there, so you can't even go in the store. I've literally never seen anything like this in real life. It's kind of crazy. Somebody's watching me. I'm not gonna lie, my throat is already starting to bother me, so I think I gotta get out of here. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna take you guys to JR's. It's right next door. JR's used to be such a big deal here in Statesville. <laughs> and uh, here's the other relic from the past. But JR's is like this super big outlet store that's kind of Grin, grungy, but like really cheap. You can get cheap perfume and obviously cigars and stuff like that. But they've been closed down for a while, and that was such a big draw in Statesville for the longest time. We used to go there and get all our Christmas gifts for people. So I'm gonna take you guys to check that out. But first, we'll do a little lap around here so you can see what this place looks like. See right over there is where Sears is or was, excuse me. And it is Belks, and they're actually still open, oddly enough. I have no idea how. They got business, I mean, it's like 1 p.m. on a weekday. It's not too bad, but gosh. There used to be so popping, like there was literally a blockbuster right over there, close to where that Bojangles is. I'm only 25. <laughs> But let's uh let's ride around and give you guys a, a look at what it looks like from the outside. Okay? Okay. doing something over here because that to the right wasn't like that and obviously I just drove over a sidewalk so they're doing something. I feel like I remember this being a nightclub at one point but I could be wrong. My memories I'm trying to access some old memories here. Over here was uh, the door I was trying to get out of but it was locked. Wow. 
Peebles. I forgot about Peebles. Wow. Alright, there's like a back way to get to JR's. Let's see if we can still do that. It's just so... I don't even know the word for it. Dilapidated? Look at these crows. Oh, just hanging out on the... Like, oh my god, it's like I'm in a horror movie. Like an abandoned town. Look at that. Let's see. Oh wow, this is the back of JR's right here. I'm going to turn that so avoid it. Let's check this out. Okay, we're gonna, there's the entrance to JR's. We're going to go around though and try to see the lines over there. That's crazy. I'm sure there's some stores still open. That's like a good spot to sled. And there used to be a uh, putt-putt course right here. My mom would take me there when I was a little bitty kid. That was a putt-putt course, but obviously it's just a field now. There's like nothing left of it. That's crazy. And this right in front of us, that was a Mexican restaurant. And that was a movie theater. And I think, I think there's a way to get in there. So we'll see. We're going to explore today. I only got 20 more minutes, but. See it. Wow. There's like nothing left. in so I'm not even going to bother getting out so let's uh, make a Yui and see if we can go sneak around that movie theater oh my gosh wow Okay, we're probably going to maybe, not going to break the law, but I might bend it just a tittle bit. But this Mexican restaurant, El Tia, we used to come here after work when I was waiting tables and they would have $1 margaritas and we'd come here on our breaks. We were responsible adults. And I used to come to this movie theater with my parents and it is jacked up now. Let's take a look. Look at that. That is crazy. <sighs> that's just, that's just nuts, all this. So they put bars up there. I heard about people, uh, I don't even remember what that used to be. I feel, like, I feel like it was a Village Inn Pizza. That's what was there. And now the Village Inn Pizza is back this way. They built a new one. But I, I heard rumors about people uh, breaking into these buildings. So, I forgot to lock my doors. Whatever. Some interstate. You know my dad's gonna be mad that I was messing around here. <gasps> Ooh, there's an open door. Should I do it? I don't know. 
I ain't gonna lie, that's a pretty cool graffiti. That's some nice art. I'm, good. I'm just gonna look. I'm not gonna go in. I'm just gonna take a gander. Not touching that. Definitely did some partying in those motels. More ratchet days. But, wow. A little hometown nostalgia with your favorite camper van queer. Newtown Theater. Well, I think that's gonna do it. Thank you uh, for watching and uh, subscribe and like or not, whatever, live your life, chase your dreams. I love you all.